So, I'd like to take a moment now to uh, discuss Irish political culture. Because, you know... Let me, let, me, let, me, let me bring you back. Well, Hi. Irish political <laughs> culture. So, land of contrast, I hear. So, coming over here, I was like, I, I, I thought, foolishly, I was like, well, in America, uh, there are two political parties that basically just trade off uh, grinding everyone down into dust. They're both, they're both awful. Uh, there's no way out. It sucks. Oh, Ireland has like nine political parties. This, this must be cool and fun. And then I, I looked into it, and it turns out, no, uh, that's the same situation over here. At <laughs> least in the United States, we pretend that there's some an ideological difference between the two. They don't even fucking bother over here. Exactly. I can, t- like, you know, you can tell the difference between a Democrat and a Republican. And I was looking into it, and it's like, you know, Finn Gale and Finna Fail. Finn <laughs> epic fail. Don't like, correct us on the pronunciation. We won't oh no, learn it. We don't care. It's going to get worse. But I swear to God, I was looking into this. Trying to find out the difference between these two fucking parties is like looking at a magic eye poster waiting for the sailboat. As, as best I can tell, one of them wants like slightly higher property taxes. And this has been the situation here for like a hundred years. You're forgetting though, only one of them was literally founded by fascists. <laughs> Like, like actual, like not, not hyperbolic internet fascists, like let's all coordinate the same colored shirt fascists. <laughs> Which is impressive. You got to give it to them on that. They're That's a lot of hustle. Settle down. <laughs> so I have, uh, I, have uh, I don't think we can possibly get through all of them. Oh, no. But here's the thing. I have tasked oh, my, my colleagues and uh, co-hosts here with... I gave them each a political party, and they're going to do sort of like... We're doing a book report. They're going to do like sort of a book report for you now. Yeah, he gave us homework. Sorry, sorry, Brazil. I know your schedule is very busy. <laughs> so There's a lot of digestion to do. <laughs> so Sorry, I can't spend two minutes looking up an Irish political party. I have to vape on the toilet for an hour. <laughs> so... Uh, what do we start with? Uh, Felix, who, I, I gave you uh, a fine gale. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, I took notes on this because I took this assignment seriously. That's right. All right, let me get to the right Google Doc. All right. And Eric, what the fuck? This is so fucking scuffed. All right, give me a sec. Give me a sec. All right. Give me a sec. <laughs> He's got to close like 15 pages of epic Fortnite fails to get to that. I have used Felix's phone in the past, and it is hell. <laughs> you are constantly bombarded with notifications for like 10 social media. This apps, motherfucker! Including like a fucking Russian social... He's on... This motherfucker's on for contact. <laughs> he's, he's on Weibo. This motherfucker has his notifications on. The true mark of a psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> I like to know what my friends are up to. <laughs> I didn't right. know Gab had got any right. notifications. I'm, I'm going to have to go from memory here. Uh, but my political party, what I was assigned, it must be all the women that I give Follow Fridays to. Because it's, <laughs> it's fine gals. <laughs> <laughs> Do not correct my pronunciation. The part of my brain that can learn how to pronounce things. It was irreparably damaged by blue light and toxins and Coke Zero. We're not getting it back. It's just what we're going to call it from now on. But uh, it was... um, It descended from uh, pro-treaty parties and other shit that I gleaned from the Wikipedia article (laughs) after Will assigned it to me. Um, They mostly seem like uh, the shitty American center-right party. Not really. They ripped us off our greatest idea from the 90s, welfare reform. <laughs> um, big, into the, big into the idea of letting Apple come here and be like, yeah, this is an Irish company, like I said, so they can pay even lower taxes than hysterically low American corporate rates so the CEOs can afford pomegranate en- enemas invented by Steve Jobs <laughs> to prevent cancer that he learned here. 
when they were stationing Apple here, Steve Jobs met an Irish guy who was like, yeah, you can cure pancreatic cancer. <laughs> They just do that. They just yeah. love lying. Yeah, yeah, dude, just stick this naked juice up your asshole. <laughs> Holy, I've hacked it. Uh, no, but, they actually, but, they offered all of their organs to all the Apple executives. They were like, what, take whatever you want. You, got, you want a pancreas? I got one for you. The liver's a bit banged up, though. <laughs> they were just Ziploc bags filled with beans. <laughs> but, uh, so... You're, uh, we're going to have a lot of trouble with this word. It looks like uh, tau siege. Uh, <laughs> Don't that's what it looks like. It I'm not saying I think that's how it's pronounced. That's just what it looks like to me. You're king. Uh, <laughs> Leo, Ver 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 you're not helping me. <laughs> this is not making this process go easier for me. Uh, Leo, Ver okay. Leo, King Leo. <laughs> right. He uh, descended from King Leopold of Belgium. So <laughs> if you want to cancel him for something, cancel him for his grandfather. He was a bad guy. Look him up. Uh, you know, he's, he used, uh, I think, official state letterheads to write a letter to Taylor Swift. <laughs> uh, like, just... All Simmer right. down! Oh my, yeah, you guys don't realize when another one of you is talking. <laughs> I can't imagine, you know, that's probably why all both the political parties just decided they believe the same shit. <laughs> that's what Parliament's probably like. <laughs> You're just talking over each other. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Leo is up there like me trying to come up with new ways of helping American <laughs> companies lie, and you're just yelling. <laughs> You're just fucking yelling, and you're not helping him like you're not helping me. Uh, anyway, he oversaw the repeal of the AFE, so GG's, man. Uh, uh, did some other bad shit, but... Uh, yeah, no, I mean, in the end, uh, they will have to answer for why I could not access my Google Doc in this crucial moment that had, I think, like three or four more facts in there. Uh, but yeah, that's that's uh, fine, gal. And uh, <laughs> if they right. if they ruled in my country, they would be a further left political party than anything ever in my <laughs> lifetime. But they're just your shitty center right party. Nice. Okay. Okay. Virgil, tell us about the fail party, <laughs> the fail army. I had a what's it called? Fina foil. <laughs> and a foil, yeah. Now, don't ask them. Don't, 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 don't. They have lots of things to say. <laughs> Another county heard from. Sure. Uh, and I was confused at first because this appeared to be the exact same party that Felix got. <laughs> uh, just another fucking center-right dipshit fucking cunt party. Uh, this one was founded in the 1920s, which means it's been around way too long for me to properly research this entire thing. Uh, got the rough gist of it. These are your never Trump cuck guys, like your country club business pervert type center right conservatives. Yeah, all right, all right, works out. Uh, uh, I'm told that they've been in power for a long time. Not going to go over what they did. Guessing it's all good stuff that we support. Uh, much how we support Jeb Bush and those types and and Lindsey Graham from our country. Uh, only interesting thing I found was apparently they have an anthem. Is that a real thing, or was that just some Wikipedia nonsense? Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, Party Rockers by LMFAO. <laughs> no, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, it is a real thing. It's 100% their anthem, and Chris is going to play it for you right now. It's a bop. Another Monday morning See the children off to school Preparing for a change in world tomorrow. Jesus Sing it. Christ, you, you, you know the lyrics. You fucking people. Brandon, it's your cousin, also named Brandon. I've got that new sound you're looking for. Who will work to build the country they'll be living in? Yeah, I hate those guys. I hate all those guys that are Warren Buffett, I think. They fucking suck, dude. Physically indistinguishable from one another. We've succeeded. We'll be there in the future. 
Damn, that's much better than the Democratic Party anthem Smack My Bitch Up. <laughs> All right, en- en- enough of the song, enough of the song. That's no fight song. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Amber, you have one, I have one, then the ma- Matt's going right. to go last. So, Amber, you, you next political party. Okay, so I, I had a few options, because um, Matt got the good one. Um, so, I like could have done, like, Labor, or Greens, or Social Democrats, or whatever. Um, uh... <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> um, and I think I actually might have, like, the, the greatest uh, amount of knowledge. Um, he has to piss, don't worry. Um, the greatest amount of knowledge of contemporary Irish politics. Matt probably knows the most history. But that mainly means that, like, I know that you have, like, the worst health care in Europe. And I understand, and I understand kind of, like, memes about a place called Crumlin. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I, I do know that the parties are also very similar and that they all, like, um, want, like, three gay pride marches a week. And they don't really care that you make, like, 3,000 euro or you have to pay, like, 3,000 euro a month for, like, to live in a shoebox. Uh, and that they all want to allow tech companies to um, the right of prima noctis. Um, <laughs> so they're all like that. I get that. So I picked Human Dignity Alliance because at least they're different. So, <laughs> yo, my yo, man's got a lot of human dignity in those Damn. sheets right now. Yo, Jamie Kerchick think he's slick. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but Damn, here's the thing uh, that he does look a little like me. <laughs> uh, so I can't, like, that's kind of what, because there's, there's like two types of Irish people, and some of them look one way, and some of them look like that. Um, so uh, I understand you all like, um, you know, like your, like, Catholicism or whatever. Um, which that's, the, no, 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 that's, that's fine. Uh, Jesus forgives you. Um, but, uh, so this is, this party is read by, like, this uh, freak. Uh, Ronan Mullen, uh, Nick Mullen's dad. Um, <laughs> but this guy is Catholic um, in a terrifying, freakish way. Um, and the party itself, which is incredibly unsuccessful, but it's like a far right party, most notable for the opposition to same sex marriage and being really against abortion. Um, and most famously, again, also I, I scoured Wikipedia because we're nothing if not scholars here. Um, after the uh, Sandy Hook tragedy, oh boy, that oh boy, there's never anything good that comes after that. I know. I mean, I don't know this guy, but it's not going to be like he sent his condolences. You know? So he thought it. He, he he did admit that it was sad. Okay. But. <laughs> he wanted to remind people not to slip into double think where we forget a whole category of children in our own country. Oh. oh. What a piece of shit. Um, and then the other thing is that when they were uh, having the debate around abortion, his, his, his other goof and gaff um, was to say that, well, one of the reasons they said that might be a good reason for a woman to seek an abortion would be mental health. And uh, he said that mental health has no evidence base. Which, to be perfectly fair, in Ireland might be true. I mean, that's what Freud said. Yeah, it doesn't work on him. Literally impervious to mental fucking health. Uh, yeah, so those are your... Like ex- bullets off a of Superman. <laughs> I mean, those, that... Those are your super extreme right-wing freaks that don't really have a huge presence, but they every once in a while pop up on RTE and look ghoulish. So... <laughs> so, I, ch- I chose uh, the Irish Labor Party. <laughs> 
wait a minute. I don't understand. Wait, wait, I don't get it. I don't understand. It's labor. That's it's, good, right? Wait, working is, class. It's a working wait. class party, right? Wait a second. Wait, wait. It's a workers' party for workers. I was like, I was like, uh, wait, oh, like, th- these, these are the, the Social Democratic Party uh, founded by James Connolly and James Larkin. Damn. Yeah, these James guys Connolly. sound cool. <laughs> James Connolly's a cool guy. Yeah, this is an awesome party so, full of they, awesome people. <laughs> Basically, not. the story there is uh, Irish Labor Party, like pretty much every other Labor and Social Democratic Party, has steadily moved to the right and imposed austerity on everyone who's ever voted for or believed in them. Damn, that's such is. You know, we should probably do something about that at some point. However, the the one thing I have gleaned from Irish Labor is that the current leader of the Irish Labor Party is a guy named Brendan Howland. So I I know they've kind of fallen on hard times. They may kind of sort of peaked in like the early teens, but they've like, you know, plummeted now in the representation. So here's my fix for Brendan Howland. He needs to immediately rebrand and change his name to Howland Brendan. (laughs) And sort of become like a 1950s style radio rock and roll DJ. You listen to the Howlin' Brendan. We got some dudes coming here for you. And then we're going to turn this whole thing around. We're going to turn. It's going to be a workers party again. Irish labor around. It's going to be a workers party again. It'll be a twerkers party. <laughs> okay. That's Irish labor. And then, <laughs> no. They, they knew. They got no, it. No, but they, They're cool. They're hip. But, but they don't have asses here. It's That's other true. They, they oh, my God. I'm trying to imagine an Irish person yet. twerking. <laughs> Which brings us to... It, yeah, it'll look like just like a cardboard flap blowing in the wind. <laughs> That's Irish labor, which brings us now finally to Matt. Okay. the last one. Here. All right. Uh, Sinn Féin. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is all, this is all I have. This is all I have. I, I, I researched all afternoon. This is all I have. Uh, Sinn Féin, it was founded by heroes. <laughs> uh, they have never done anything wrong ever. I have a family. <laughs> <laughs> So that's 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 pretty much Irish politics for you. That that's all of but it. But I want to say You're like welcome. I was I was I was trying to figure out Irish politics and I couldn't do it on my own. However, there is one resource for understanding not just Irish politics but Ireland in general that is indispensable and I think maybe some of you guys are familiar with it. It is a resource called the Ireland Simpsons fans meme page. <laughs> It's top crack. But I want to give them credit for uh, doing the actual, like, th- this explains the political parties better than anything I've seen. So let's put up the, uh, the, 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 the political alignment Simpsons chart here. <laughs> so what I love about this <laughs> is you have... Uh, we understand now. I get it now. We understand. You- <laughs> I get it. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. You've got Finna Fail is Mr. Burns. Fi- Finna Gale is Mr. Snrub. Labor is Mr. Burns when he's pretending to be a teenager. Sinn Féin is run by a handsome beardo who is also probably a... S- <laughs> Hank Scorpio, yes, I know. Run by Hank Scorpio... We yeah, who's that guy? We've seen the None show. of us know the, the Simpsons. Simpsons, dude. What's that show? Oh, that's Peter Griffith. <laughs> <laughs> Sinn Fein, run by a handsome beardo who is also a supervillain. Green Party, Gil. <laughs> oh, Gil. Poor Gil. Renua, won't someone please think of the unborn children, lady? <laughs> The anti-austerity people, Ned Flanders' parents. I mean, they seem like they have the best politics, technically, but... And then finally, the Social Democrats, Hank Grimes. Again, I didn't even investigate the Social Democrats, but I'm like, I get it now. Yeah. Did you just call him Hank Grimes? 
This motherfucker called him hate crimes. crimes. You called him hate crimes, motherfucker. Uh, You called him hate crimes. You're going in the dunking chair. (laughs) Okay, I guess I haven't seen The Simpsons. Fuck. (laughs) (laughs) That's, uh... My career is over. Oh, well. It's been a, it's been a good run, Dublin. Uh, it was great to go out like You're this. You're at the bottom of your rankings in both of your families now. 